Martin, so we got new wireless mics. You ready for this? How am I gonna wear those while lifting, dude? I'll figure it out. Your hips. You put this on your beard. Pick <laughs> mustache is better. Hello, I am Martins. Oh, we are. We are. We are golden. All right, Martins, I'll be right back. All right, buddy. Do what you got to do. Yeah, then what you guys up to? Huh? What you guys up to? Writing some code. Cool. Oh, shit. Yeah, speaking of talking shit, Romark, man. I can't, I can't stand that. I hang out with them every day. I can't believe you guys live with them. How do you guys even? Share a bed with him. It's like I gotta come in and work out, and f just, that, he's always here. He's always here. Uh, anyways, I'll, I'll just go back. <laughs> hey, Romar! <laughs> What's up everybody? Today is a leg day. Last time I had a 506 pound squat. It felt really good. I got 10 paused repetitions totally raw. So I'm gonna go up to the maximum weight that we have in this garage, which is 560 pounds, and just do several reps. And if I feel good, a little bit more. This right here is Tom DeLong's spine. We're, we're keeping it as a good luck sake. Before every big lift, I ask it for its power. Do you guys ever, Question your own mortality. I do, just about every day. Enjoy this episode. What is that, bud? This is um, the trigger. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> no, uh, this is a Theragun. I love it, it's a handheld one. It's my favorite one by far. Because I don't really like to uh, travel with anything too big, but this one is perfect. This fits in, basically fits in my pocket. Today I am working out squats. What are you going up to? I don't know yet. I'm going to warm up and see how I feel first. Real guys, this is nice. Before a workout, this is great. Uh, right now, my medial epicondyle right here has been pretty sore from all the hanging stuff I've been doing four to five times a week. So um, this is really helping me loosen up my forearms. So that way, when I get into squat position, my elbows don't bug me. OK, what are you working out today? Whatever everyone tells me to do. Okay. So it's Saturday, I like to barbecue on Saturdays. If you haven't checked it out, classicweek.com. Use the code MARTI69 to grab some delicious premium food. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, because I want you to get better. The ongoing battle of me wearing weightlifting shoes. She should take them off. I did warm up without them. I'm proud of you for that, but... <laughs> you do You do weightlifting like almost every day. Once a week, you could take your shoes okay. off. I'm just saying once a week. Of course! Is there a way to try? I'm no rest. Alright, let's go. Nice correction. Can you show me what uh, you uh, what you discovered with your rehab uh, about your hip mobility? Yeah, this is crazy. Um, I've never been able to go into a full squat with my feet basically hip width apart, facing straight ahead. That's a, that's just that's the best mobility I've ever had. My ankles, and my hips, all thanks to that work I've been doing with Aaron Horsing. From Squat University. We're gonna do a full rehab video next week, guys. Yeah. Awesome. Right leg, right leg. Nice. Here we go, one more. Nine. Yeah. And fall through <laughs> 10. Awesome, good. Walk it. Great stuff. Load up the posterior. Then push it back. Feel those heels load up. Feel the heels load up, and don't take tension off the heels. There should always be seven, uh, like, yep, there should always be tension on the heels. There you go. All right, come on, Sean. <laughs> Feel the cr 
crotch stretch. That's actually pretty damn good. Now that you got weight on, it's better. Yeah. Yeah. Now that you got weight on, it's a lot better. Oh, Your yeah. just ankles needed to be mobile. So you tend to go straight up. What I'm saying is push back. The knees and hips shift back and then scoot forward. Can you explain what that does for me, just because I'm learn? It uh, loads up the posterior muscles more. Okay, whereas the other one would just be quad dominant, yes. straight up. And, because, and it also allows you to utilize your calves to uh, raise yourself as well. Because okay. if you go forward, straight up, your calves are not extending. By the time you get here, there's no point to the, the calf tension. Here you build up all this tension here, use it. You spring back. Okay. It's that you're pushing your toes into the floor. We're gonna fill up uh, the second garage space with a bunch of rogue equipment and be ready for like a fully outfitted gym. <laughs> so excited. So we started, we were supposed to uh, we were document our junior party in gym, then the coronavirus hit. Yeah. And then, uh, so we just started putting shit in my garage. This is the beginning of Wreck the Gym. That's right. Bathroom, psycho. Uh, your mic's on the bathroom. Oh, yeah. weird. Don't miss a drop. Got a rub, Tom Zillion, for good luck. All right, Tom, give him this. This one's for you, Tom. Oh, 
Good mornings, just for re recovery. Mm. Got to get just focusing on the hamstring, but that, that's good. So I think also on the squats, one thing I did not talk about is today I've been doing a lot more of a scoop or a posterior load and a scoop through. Last week when I did squats, I just went straight up and down. Today, when I was coming out of the hole, I would push my hips back farther and then scoop through more, which is a trick I've always used in leveraging to get more reps and higher weights and squats. Works out, worked out great for me in Worlds and whatnot. But, uh, but I'm trying to bring it back here and that actually loaded up my hamstring more and I think that's why my hamstring hurt a little bit more during the squats today. If I just did them regularly like I did last week, probably no pain. But that's good though. I'm just pushing it a little bit more every week. All right, so tell the world what we have, what belt we have in six weeks. So in six weeks, Romark challenged me to a, a brilliant contest. It's called the Circle of Death, the Ring of Death. And it's gonna be a 40 foot diameter circle in the beach. Romark believes that he could, in a span of two minutes, uh, outrun me uh, and not be caught. All I have to do is catch him and pin him down or push him out of the circle. I think it's ridiculous, but he's going to train his butt off to try to beat me. I'm going to play video games and eat junk food. <laughs> Just kidding, of course, I'm not eating junk food. I'm going to eat steaks. The steaks are, well, if I, if I win, I get to slap him on camera. That slap. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be training the slap. And, and if I win, Romark's not gonna win. Don't, don't tell if I win, I got three you slaps don't win. You taken don't away from me because he has three slaps already. That's right, but he won't win. It's <laughs> so funny that he thinks he can win. I'm be, bro. <laughs> well, that does it for my good mornings. Next, doing some calves, calling it a day. Coming in tomorrow, training some ollie lifting with Desiree. Yay. Woo! Man, I'm gonna be start training for the ring of death, baby. Which is ridiculous. I'm gonna beat you. Yes. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs>